It sounds cheesy, but Fomation Incorporated has only gotten better with age. Of course, in this case, cheesy is a good thing, since the Milwaukee-based business produces the original cheese head, among a few dozen other yellow foam and cheese-themed products. And the cheese head, absolutely an icon that relates to Wisconsin, the Packers, and all of the teams, whether college, pro, in the state of Wisconsin. Fomation owner Ralph Bruno made the first cheese head out of foam from his mother's couch cushion. He wore it to a Milwaukee Brewers game. He went to that game because he had season tickets with some of his buddies. They disowned him, didn't even want to walk next to him, and people were going, hey, it's a cheese head. So ironically, while his friends disowned him, the fans and Milwaukeeans and Green Bay Packer people from all over southern Wisconsin here just followed Ralph in and said, where can I get one? And that's how the business started. Luckily for Bruno's mother, the manufacturing process was refined. Now producers mix dyed liquids to just the right color, pour the substance into a mold, cure it, take it out and check the quality, and finally, trim off any rough edges. Fomation is in the process of moving from its now outgrown facility in St. Francis to the Walker's Point neighborhood in Milwaukee. The new location isn't just bigger, it will offer customers stopping in to buy all things cheese the chance to see their production process and even make their own foam cheese item. So as people come from Milwaukee's airport, we're right along the spur that you would need to take to go up to Green Bay to Lambeau Field and enjoy a game, so we're a destination or are becoming more of a destination here. When the Packers play well, Fomation simultaneously gets busier. With that defeat of uh, the Dallas Cowboys, business is just off the hook. It's a great blessing for all of us here. We love the Super Bowls every couple years. We'd love to have them every year.